Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tyler from iOS Planet here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I record my videos. Now, I've had uh, over, like, the entire time of me, uh, recording my videos, people have asked me how I record my videos, and today I am going to show you how I do so, and, uh, pretty much how I edit them and how I, uh, import all of the stuff into it. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm also sick, so bear with me. Uh, my nose is completely stopped up, my throat's killing me and everything, so... I am going to try to show you guys the best that I can. Anyway, uh, if you did not know already, I am jailbroken. Uh, my iPad is jailbroken. So, uh, that's how I record. I don't have, like, any, like, app store type screen recorder. I just use, uh, let's see right here. Let's put this out here. I use Display Recorder from Cydia. That's what I use. Uh, I did not get it for free. I actually bought it from the Big Boss uh, thing. I I bought it. Uh, I think it was like four ninety nine. So yeah, and you cannot for anybody that's gonna buy this. If you don't know this already, you cannot buy it with an iTunes card. Uh, you have to buy it either through PayPal or um, through like a credit card. I had a Visa card, so that's what I purchased it through. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys where it is, uh, I'll go ahead and jump into Cydia here and type it in just so you guys see it. If you've never heard of it before, um, guess I'll let that go ahead and do its thing. Uh, so, uh, display right here. Display recorder. The blue one is from Big Boss, <coughs> which is probably the best bet. If you're gonna get it for free, there's probably gonna be some bugs with it, or it doesn't work, or whatever, but... If you buy it for four ninety nine, which I believe that's what that's the uh, price, it's worth it. It's completely worth it. Uh, let's go ignore. Uh, so I'll show you guys my settings too, uh, like my settings for my display recorder. Uh, but yeah, it. I mean, it's good with iOS seven. It's good with pretty much every every update. <coughs> also, some of you guys have asked me. Why I do not have iOS 7, uh, that is because I have an iPad 2, and that does not, it's not compatible with iOS 7. Anyway, let's jump into the display recorder, and I'm going to show you guys the setting. Okay, so this is my settings. Uh, let's see, uh, I have my frame rate pretty much all the way up. Uh, so, I mean, if you're playing, like... The frame rate is, you really need it to have it all the way up, but it also takes up more memory whenever you're playing games and everything. So, like, if you don't have much memory on your device and you're trying to record, like, a 10-minute video, it may take up pretty much all your memory, and you won't be able to edit it, and you won't be able to do all that. So, whatever. Uh, I lock frame rate so it doesn't go down or anything. My rotation is current, so whatever rotation I have it in, that's what it will record in. Uh, mode quick time, I think Qu quick time is the best. Don't do pre calculated or whatever it's called. Uh, video format, I use the H whatever, which is recording with mic audio. So that's how I get my voice to record while I'm recording. I mean, you can do it without <clears throat> without mic audio. Uh, you can do it with just recording video, just recording audio, uh, or video and audio, which is what I use, and also it takes up more memory if you do it with audio, instead of recording the video, then doing the audio, if I do, it, uh, like, live, it takes up more memory, but in the end, it's worth it. Uh, video quality is high, you can go on medium if you want to, but high is probably the best, again, it takes up more memory, uh, open GL capture, is on grayscale off uh, scale full right there uh, show taps hidden you can turn those on uh, when recording and see you can see when my taps pop up on the screen uh, you can see whenever I tap something but I don't like that at all uh, tap size is medium you can change the size of how it looks um, web servers off uh, activation methods you choose yours. Mine is triple tapping the home button or short holding the power button or the sleep button. Uh, or you, And you can uh, link your YouTube account 
to this app. So whenever you're done recording, uh, you can upload, uh, like directly upload it to your YouTube channel. I mean, it gives you the option to if you want to. So that's what I use to record my videos. After I'm done recording, I import it into my video library and or my photo library, and then. Usually, I use Pinnacle Studios to edit my videos, but Pinnacle Studios has been it's it's been really buggy with me. It hasn't been importing my videos to my photo library. It'll completely finish editing the video, but not import it to my photo library. And I've had trouble with that before, and then they've updated the app, and then it fixed it, but it's back to its old ways, and I can't do it. So, I use iMovie, which is why my videos are not full screen anymore. Uh, they are just like a little square in the middle of the screen. Uh, that would be iMovie's doing. <laughs> Thanks, iMovie, for not letting me stretch my videos. Uh, so, <laughs> alright, it, like, lets you stretch them, but it's, like, it, it, it zooms instead of stretching it to the screen size you want. So, iMovie is what I've been using. Uh, iMovie and Pinnacle Studios, both, they're, they're both really... Uh, self-explanatory. Uh, I have not used QCut Pro to edit my videos yet. I will try that out actually soon because uh, I don't know how long it takes to render the videos. I don't know the quality of the videos whenever you uh, whenever you import it into your photo libraries. And I, I mean, I know you can stretch the videos out, so I will probably be doing QCut Pro eventually because I feel feel like that'll be a better way, but I, again, I don't know how long it takes to uh, import into the photo library. But guys, these are pretty much the apps I use. Display Recorder, which just says Recorder right there. Display Recorder from Cydia, because I am jailbroken. Pinnacle Studios, which is like $14.99 on the App Store now. I got it when it was like $9.99, uh, but I think it's $8.99 actually. Uh, and then iMovie, which is now free on iOS 7. And QCut Pro. Uh, I got it for free. Uh, I got the Pro version for free because I'm jailbroken. But uh, I, I, there is a free version, but I would go with the Pro version. If you have the extra money on your iTunes account, get QCut Pro. It's, it's a lot better, I, trust me. So those are the four apps I use to record my videos, to edit my videos, to uh, just do my videos. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out and answered your questions in any way. If you did like the video, go ahead and thumbs up. That would help me a lot. Go ahead and comment down below exactly, like, if you have any other questions about how I do things or exactly my methods of doing things or games that you want to see me play. Uh, other than that, please subscribe for more iOS gaming videos. This was Tyler from iOS Planet. I will see you guys later. Peace!